Hi everybody, I thought I'd pop on here to give you some science experiment ideas for back to school season. Um, after we go over lab safety and scientific methods, states of matter is typically the biggest first unit that we go over. So I have two ideas of what you can do that are simple, easy, and cheap to help engage your students in learning about states of matter. The first one is super simple. All of these materials, just so you know, I can get from the Dollar Tree. So these are materials that should not break your budget in any way, but they will give you a lot of bang for your buck in the classroom. First one is super simple. So I take a bottle of soda, could be any type of soda, and a balloon. And what we're going to be doing with this experiment is we're going to be showing students that soda is not only a liquid, but there's also a gas in it. So you're going to open the bottle of soda and you're going to take a balloon and you want to put this balloon around the top of the bottle just so it's like so and then what you're going to do is you're just going to wait um, I also have some activities that I do with my students for this where while they're waiting they'll be filling this in they'll make their predictions um, they're going to also be showing what they can either write or illustrate what the bottle and the balloon look like at the beginning of the experiment and then after 10 minutes. And while you're waiting, you can have some discussion and, and see what happens. So for now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this to the side. I'll keep it here so it's kind of in screen and we'll see what happens. The next experiment also has to do with soda. Um, any clear soda you can use. Normally I use Sprite, but I'm out of Sprite right now. So I have some ginger ale, I have a large glass, and I have raisins. And the Dollar Tree also sells raisins. Um, you can get these little packages in like a bigger bag. Um, and that's for a dollar. So you definitely would have enough to do one classroom full of experiments. So you're going to open the can and you're going to pour this into the glass. Now, one important thing you want to go over before doing this experiment is carbonation and what carbonation is and how that can be found in soda. Carbonation, we know, are the bubbles that are in the soda. And you can, can you see them? Yeah, you can kind of see them. Um, so you want to introduce that to the students so that they know, most of them should know, um, if a soda is flat, that means that there's no more carbonation. Once you have that in there, you're going to take about 10 or so raisins. You can have the students count them out. You don't have to. And you're just going to put them in. And again, students are observing. So this is great because usually when you're going over a scientific method, you are talking about observation skills and what we need for observation skills. So this is a great activity that will um, allow you to reintroduce that and review it. And what the students should be seeing is the carbonation bubbles stick to the raisins. And as they're on top of the raisins, they bring the raisins to the top of the water or of soda. Once those bubbles pop, the raisins drop down. So I call this like a raisin dance because the raisins are going up and down in the soda. And they will keep doing this until the soda starts to go flat. And then there will be no more um, carbonation in there. So the students will then be able to relate that soda has not only is it a liquid, but there are also gas bubbles inside of it. 